Hi, my name is Sindhusha. Today I am here to show and explain how to integrate FM applications with the ChatGPT using MindFetch ChatGPT FM file. Before going to the MindFetch ChatGPT FM file, we need to create an account in ChatGPT and get the organization ID and API token. Then go to the settings and the paste the organization ID and API token here. And here you can see the token size, which is nothing but the length of the result we are getting from the ChatGPT. And the maximum size of the token is 4000 here you can see temperature it is a setting which controls the randomness of the result the maximum value of the temperature is 1 if we give temperature equal to 1 means we will get a creative results from the chat gpt for the same question temperature and topi will work similarly so we need to use any one of the setting um, the other one should be equal to the 1 the frequency penalty means which uh, which it will help us to reduce the repeating words in the re result and the presence penalty means it will help us to reduce the repeating topics in the result base prompt one means we will get a detailed results from the chat gpt and the two means we will get a straightforward answers from the chat gpt once we enter the settings then we need to go to the use cases here you can see 13 use cases the first one is question and answer here i am going to search for the how many bones are there in the human body here we will get a detailed answer like there are 206 bones in the human body now i will go to the setting and i will change the base prompt to 2 and i will search for the same question again we will see the result now now we got like 206 bones uh, chatbot means it will work similar to the question and answer but here we will get a detailed answers translator will work similar to the google translator here also we need to select uh, from one two languages here i'm search for english to french here what we are got a, here we got a french result now you go to the settings and i will change the temperature to one and we'll see the result for the same search now we can see a different result now i'll go for the code generator code generator will help us to generate a code for a particular language and the, now I'll go for the co code conversion. Code conversion will help us to convert a piece of code from one language to the another language. Here I'm converting from Java Java to C and C++. For, uh, here I written code for the to find the largest number. Now, now we'll check for check the result. Here we got only the half of the result, so I have to we have to go to the setting and we'll increase the token size then we'll check for the same question and we'll see the result now we got the complete result for c and c plus plus i'll go for the grammar checker it will help us to fix the grammar issues in our text and the uh, image generator will help us to generate uh, different images for the particular search word and the number of images we want from chat gpt and this based on the, and the size of that image Image variation means uh, we can generate a different variation for a particular image uh, by using here count of the images and the size of that image. And SQL query generator means from a normal text we can generate a SQL query. Here I am doing for create table for employee. Uh, now we can see a SQL query for the employee table. Product name generator means... Uh, it will suggest different names for the product based on the details given for our product. Here you can see 10 different names for code conversion app. Tagline generator means uh, based on our pro product name, it will generate a tagline. I hope this will help you to understand how to integrate FM applications with ChatGPT. Thank you.